Hello you wonderful people, um, today I have a little quick tip video for you and it's because it wasn't worth to create a full length video um, to share what I found out but I still want to share something with you that might interest you and as you can see here I made swatches and part of them I did laminate as you can see here because I was asked um, how the properties are and whether colors fade, etc. while being laminated and how they, they look after because uh, someone wanted to make um, bookmarks and laminate them so they are sturdy, which they really are. So I tried different papers and wanted to show you the properties and how they are kept in the papers. So this is the original swatch on Canson XL. Um, as you can see, I have used uh, some colors. This one is opera pink. This is fugitive. I know it looks darker and bluer in the camera, but it's actually pretty neon in real life. And I also used uh, some metallic watercolors to see if the shine stays. This uh, was written with a fountain pen and a waterproof ink. Uh, this is the platinum carbon um, ink that I've used and I will make a review on that too. And I used a liner and two, this is the uni pen liner, to see if the liner would smudge, etc. Because I was told it would do so, as well as the shine would vanish from the paper. And as you can see, it's a really nice shine here. So this is the laminated half of the um, swatch, as you can see there. And the colors did not fade. It was laminated on, laminated on the hot setting, so you know. And there's still um, shine in the metallic, metallic colors. I think this is the way to show it. Um, it's a little less than in the not laminated piece, but you definitely can still see the um, metallic color being shiny. So this is the laminated piece. Then I used a slightly um, more expensive paper, which is 100% cotton. It's the Gastica Centenaire. It's the house brand of Gastica. Um, and it's actually a really nice paper, which I love for swatching and pa painting. Um, as you can see here, um, the lines look nice and crisp. The colors did not fade either. It did spread more here in this part and the metallics still look shiny on this one too here you can see the gold too um, what I forgot to say I also used some gel pen there and it looks the same as before um, laminating here I've used some gel pen too it was the uniball one and it's not covering as well as I wish it, w it was um, but yeah, here you can see the comparison too. And I actually like this look. It would look nice for um, bookmarks. Just consider that this is not archival because um, the foil might yellow as well as what is underneath and you can't um, just separate it easily. So um, this is something you might consider and not put or laminate your very nice original paintings that you are proud of. And the last paper I have tried this on is Arches. And as here you can see as well that it looks nice. The black border is from the um, dark silver paint which is, uh, which is um, made with obviously a darker pigment in the binder. So the silver or metallic looks nicer and um, yeah same properties here um, here you can see it up close and I will put some scans um, in my blog so you can see it closer um, how it would look in comparison so if you're curious how your watercolors will hold up when being laminated um, this might be the answer for you it looks still nice the colors are still bright 
um, in comparison. So if you really want to laminate your pieces, you could. Um, yeah, but be aware that it's not um, archival and the foil itself might yellow over time. But of course it will take some years before it does. So I hope you have some new informations and if you were, were curious about this, I hope this helps you out. And if you have other questions that I might ask or I might try, um, I will try to do so and I will try to answer them. Just uh, leave a comment. Yeah. If you are curious about paints, um, you can check out sandcolors.com where I put uh, swatches as well as the light fastness test of all the colors I own. Um, so you can compare them, uh, see the properties, etc. And if you want to help me out, I have a new set of stickers available in the shop. So take a look. It's linked down below too. Have a great day and I hope to see you soon. Bye!